Hey, how you doing YouTube? It's Max from Max Beer Review. We are on day 16 right now. 1-6, big day, big time, but more importantly, we got a, another beer today from Silo. It's, uh, the company's named Silo. This is what I didn't know about. I thought it was just called Silo. It's another minimalistic can, as you can see on it. I think they're supposed to represent bees. It's called a Buck Beer, it's called Sauvé. Not sure what that means. Someone can Google that for me. Sauve, S-A-U-V-E. What does that mean in French? Not sure. It's a Bach beer. Last time I tried a Bach was a couple days ago. And I think I liked it. It was the Doppel Bach. That was the German style. And from what I recall, it had a very chocolatey, imperial stout-like taste to it. So I'm not sure how this one's going to taste, but I hope I enjoy it. I'm a little bit lazy today, so I didn't feel like pouring it. Uh, but you know what? It's a nice, it's a nice, it's a nice stout looking beer. It's a nice thick looking beer. So I'm gonna pour it anyways. New style of video. It's like more raw. It's, it's Max Beer Review Raw. Beard, beard raw. Let's see what it looks like. Oh geez, this is not a good camera angle, but doing it raw. Okay, so it's a bit lighter of a color. Looks pretty good. Um, it's a bit more foamy than I'd expect. Overall, things are going well. I'll, I'll do it from a different angle. All right, we're gonna continue the filming. Looks a little, gotta clean my screen off here a little bit. Woo, woo, woo. All right, screen slightly cleaned off. And now we're gonna keep pouring it. As you can see, it's got a, quite a fine foam. It does look not as dark or as thick as a stout. Has a, quite a visible see-through, almost like one of those brown ales. Drink it right in front of the Christmas tree, right here. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm just drinking foam so far, but the foam's going down smooth. Getting some of the true beer right now. It's quite a metallic taste. It's not bad. The alcohol percentage on it is a 6.5. It doesn't taste like a 6.5. It could pass as a 5.5. It could pass as a 5. It's not a 6.5 in flavor. You wouldn't even notice they are drinking it. The most thing that you'd notice drinking it is it's a little bit thicker, and I think the thickness is what's hiding the alcohol flavor, but it's uh, it doesn't taste alcoholic whatsoever. It's, it's pretty smooth. Um, it's a bit filling, but not too filling. It's just, it's medium, it's medium. It's a meal, it's lunch. It's a nice, gentle, quick brunch. That's what it is. What else is there to say about it? Yeah, there's a lot of burned, or I, I wouldn't say burned, but I would say the flavor is roasted. It's roasted barley type flavors in here. Um, it's a bit metallic in taste. Uh, overall, it's it's pretty nice, but again, it's not, I guess, a beer that I would normally purchase for myself. I'll try a little bit more. It has a nice foam to it, so the foam gets points. The color of it, it's kind of an in-between between almost like a stout and a lager. There's a very subtle floralness to it, almost just like sniffing a flower, um, maybe a rose or a daisy or something. There's a bit of a floralness. Most of all, you get the strong taste of roasted barley and grains, and there's a bitterness to it. Um, it's slightly bitter. I put it as like a three or four on the bitter scale. There is a noticeable bitter but it's not strong enough that it overpowers. The most overpowering flavor is actually the roasted grains. What's the verdict here? Honestly, there's a lot of factors going into this and I'm gonna give this one a nice four out of five, but that translates to eight out of 10 or a B. It's good, it's fine, it's a tasty beer. Would I recommend it? If I tried this, I'd say yeah. If I, if, if I was at a bar and someone said, hey, did you like that beer? I'd say, yeah, I like the beer. You should try it. I'm gonna move my camera a bit because I can't really see my face. This should look a little bit better that way. That's better. Yeah, so it's not bad. It's it's pretty decent. Uh, I recommend it. If some if I was trying it at a bar and someone, hey, I want a little, a little thicker of a beer. I want a filling beer. I, I would give them this beer. It's pretty nice. Uh, yep, four on five. I'll see you tomorrow for day 17. Uh, hope to see you there and uh, please like, subscribe, and if you have anything to say, leave a comment. If you found this new uh, way of me filming uh, to be worse, let me know in the comments. I can always go back 
to the plain old white background, but look, I got Christmas right behind me right now. Damn, isn't that great? Okay, I'll see you tomorrow, day 17.